Hello everyone. I welcome you all to ATM Creations and I welcome you all to Zero to Hero series of videos too. In this video, we are going to learn some very basic patterns which we can make using these acrylic rods. And uh, these can be considered as patterns or as a practice how to use these tools and some practice for spacing the dots right as well. Let's get started with the patterns now. Now in the first pattern that we are going to make, I'm going to use these two tools, pink and purple. Now I'll use this acrylic color to place a dot. Now using this tool, I'm going to keep four dots around this main dot, top, bottom, right and left. Let me repeat the pattern now. Using this pink tool, you can keep the main dot. Now I'm going to keep four dots around this. Now the purpose of we doing this pattern is to practice equal spacing of dots. So how are we practicing the equal spacing here? Now I'm placing a top dot. Now look at the space between this main dot and the top dot. Now, when I keep dot at the bottom, I'm going to make sure I maintain the same space. Now I'll keep right side dot and I'll keep a dot in the left. See, if you look at here in this pattern, if not, the space is exactly the same between the main dots and the side dots. They are almost the same. The next thing is, the spacing between the any two side dots is also almost the same. Now, this makes definitely a pattern, but majorly the purpose would be to help you practice equal spacing between the dots. In this space, I'm going to repeat the same pattern but make some mistakes intentionally to help you understand how when mistakes are made, the outcome is going to differ. Here I am keeping the center dot or you can also call it a main dot. Now using this tool, four dots is what I'm going to keep. The top dot first, the bottom dot next, the right and the left. If you look at these two, we use same acrylic paint same type of dotting tools and we made these two patterns but if you look at which one is looking better definitely this is looking better than this one why because the spacing is completely different from each other here it is very less here it is too much when compared to this space this is too much definitely and these two though the spacing between the uh, main dot and the right and left are almost equal they are exactly not aligned to um, four different directions of a main dot say they look uh, here and there you know so spacing is extremely important to make a pattern look really nice and to get the spacing right you must practice this pattern at least minimum of 20 times minimum so that you get the spacing right and when creating a dot mandala, spacing is extremely critical for you to get a beautiful outcome. So do practice this pattern multiple times. Now as a next practice, I'm going to keep a dot that is the main dot using the yellow tool. Now instead of four dots around the main one, now we are going to keep six dots around the main dot. So here we start with top dot and bottom dot. When we have to keep six dots around this main dot, so between this top and the bottom, here you need to keep two dots. So since you have to keep two dots between this top and the bottom here and here as well, you need some space. Here in this pattern, you created only four dots. So top, bottom, right and left. If you look at this pattern, though 
the top and the bottom dots are closer to each other since you have to keep only one more dot in between those two you have a lot of space but here i have chosen a slightly bigger tool as well and you have to keep two dots i have spaced it with a little more space than i did here let me keep two dots now i repeat this pattern again so you keep one main dot using the zello tool a top dot with a little extra space bottom dot some people have asked me how do you choose the exact place to dot the two side dots here you know so what i do is in between these two this is the space so give a little extra space so that you imagine a circle around completely you know this is one half circle this is another half circle so if you have to form a kind of a half circle shape here obviously you wouldn't dot here you would dot a little away from it so what you can do is instead of dotting this closer here you can choose to dot a little away from it you know some of them have asked me uh, ma'am why should we keep a dot top dot bottom dot and then two side dots here and there uh, why can't we draw a circle and then do this dotting practice it will look much better no that yes the answer is definitely yes but then if you start practicing without a guideline right at the beginning you will get your spacing much better when you do it with guideline so that's my fundamental of always suggesting people to start dotting without a guideline first now we kept four dots and six dots around the main dot we will now try doing eight dots around the main dot so i'll keep a main dot here now i'm going to keep eight dots so first a top dot bottom dot right left and then in between top and right now in between bottom and right bottom left top left now again for this pattern you imagine a circle around the main dot so that it looks like a circular form after you finish dotting let me tell you normally what people do when they start beginning uh, to practice this pattern i have organized lot of uh, offline workshops and have taught a lot of people and this is what they do they keep a main dot like this and when i ask them to keep a dots they happily keep top bottom right so instead of imagining a circle around the main dot seems like they imagined a square and then they keep it like this i don't think i have done as any beginner would do but still what happens is it neither looks like a square nor a circle this is somewhere in between so if you want to do it right right from the beginning imagine a circle around the main dot and then when you dot between this right and the bottom dot you pull it little backward you don't have to keep it exactly straight in a straight don't imagine a straight line instead you imagine a curved line so that automatically the dot will come a little backward so in that case the eight dots will definitely form a circle you know just as an example so i have this kind of a protractor where there are lot of circles you know so i use this protractor draw a small circle and i'm going to try the same pattern here a main dot and eight dots around so so far i did without guideline now this is with guideline the center dot is done now i'm going to keep eight dots here now this is definitely looking better than this one and this so that's the power of using a guideline for dotting however i would still suggest when you start 
using these tools for dotting these i would suggest you do it without guideline then you can move on to doing it with guideline there is you can create thousands of patterns using these just eight acrylic rods okay and one of the uh, most favorite pattern of mine is what i'm going to do it here so there is one dot that i have kept almost without space another top and bottom now as close as possible i somehow love this pattern so much you must have seen this uh, pattern in many of my dot mandalas you can now either use alternate color or the same color i'm using the same color just for an example now one in between every bigger dots i'll keep a smaller dot too how does this look let me know in the comment section how this pattern looks i'm sure this video was very useful to you practice all these patterns and let me know how did you get it thank you for watching this video